Welcome to Forensics Detectives. I am Dr. Cos, you guessed me, the gas detector. And today, look at this beauty. I am your gas analyzer expert for helium. Helium, folks, we've been working on this for months to bring you a reliable and accurate helium gas analyzer. And we got it right here. Check it out, folks. 0 to 100% volume helium, 0.1% resolution, built in pump. Check it out. Look built-in pump so it draws the air through the micro pump onto the sensor the conductive thermal sensor that is of high technology to give you the most accurate reading of helium all the bells and whistles large battery usb recharge and an easy barb three millimeter barb stainless steel so you could pop on this the silicone tubing that it comes with check it out folks it's so easy you just pop on the silicone tubing just like that and it comes with a three inch stainless steel probe so you can do very fine helium gas leak measurements at will. Or if you're a scuba person and you wanna check your Trimex with helium, you can do volumetric measurements of your gas mixture for scuba to check the actual percent volume of helium. So it's a very versatile unit for the gas leak market and for the scuba market folks so we've thought about all the different use cases and this is perfect and i'm going to actually give you a quick demonstration of its accuracy folks look i've got a 50 percent calibration gas bottle right over here we're going to pop on the pump okay and we're going to squeeze out some gas and you're going to see how fast it actually measures in real time it has internal alarms that are adjustable and as you could see you see that folks bang 50.3 percent right on the mark look at this 50.22 is our gas mixture and this gets it right on the mark folks to be honest i don't think dr kaz has ever built a more accurate gas analyzer than this guy right over here folks very very accurate indeed the specifications speak for themselves and actually as you just saw it's actually more accurate than the specifications. The specifications are worst case scenario. Okay, look, let's put that guy on the side. He comes with very important NIST calibration certificate. It comes with a nice color manual. So you can read, it's on our website, PDF version. It comes with your USB cable and the charger together in a package and a robust waterproof, very hardy, check it out hard case folks okay to pop everything together and take it where you want if you're on a trip for scuba you could take it with you it's a waterproof case what else is there folks have i missed anything i don't think so that's basically it well priced for the market as you can see from our competitors we're thinking and we're looking and we understand what's happening out there folks if there's any questions let us know and i hope you enjoy the unboxings hey folks here we are fd311 Dash helium helium analyzer comes in a robust waterproof case and let's go forward with our unboxing you unbox it and immediately we find our manual and all the goodies folks okay let's put that on the side and we're gonna see exactly what's in here first and foremost though I want to turn on the helium gas analyzer okay middle button is turn on and turn off just hold it there for a minute and as you could see it's going to go through a 60 second self-analysis countdown i'm going to put that on the side while we go through all the other accessories it comes with two three inch stainless steel needle with silicone tubing industrial gauge silicone tubing so you could undertake your gas leak detection now maybe just maybe for your application this is not needed and that's fine for the scuba guys trimix guys technical divers you don't need this okay folks you could just plug up straight away and check your mixture but for the gas leak the helium gas leak folks they will need this now we have other probes we have one foot probe four foot probes we have little needles please check our website i encourage you to see what probe will suit you email us before you put your order in and let us know if you want to substitute it out okay folks now bang you hear that that's the pump it's checking the pump there's a built-in pump in our helium analyzer because it draws air from the top and it takes it in to the thermal conductive sensor, okay, folks. 
Now, let's put that on the side. What we have here is our USB charger and cable that it also comes with, okay folks? Very basic generic components you could buy from us if you lose this or on Amazon, okay? Simple smartphone 5 volt 1 amp charger and we have our USB charger folks, okay? The cable. Now, also, now let's just check this out folks, look. It's just going through its preheat section here. Let's just get a bit of focus going. And it's going through various items and checking different things, okay? You could see that, okay? It's checking the vibration, the alarms, the buzzer. All the alarms have to be checked because it's very important for safety. And there you see the various alarm thresholds that we alarm at. Now, the left button is very important. It turns off and on the pump, okay? Look, on and off, okay? I'll put that, we'll come back to that. I just wanna get through all this accessory slash paperwork stuff right over here. Now, we have our manual that it comes with. Oh, Dr. Cos, how does this open up at the end here? Okay, we have our calibration certificate signed by our engineer right over here with our NIST traceable sticker, okay? Excuse me, stamp, date, and engineer signature. Here we have all the quality assurance information and specifications of the unit. We have some reminders from Dr. Koz, you could check that out. And we have our color manual, very detailed color menu, uh, menu, uh, uh, user manual. See, Dr. Koz gets confused, he's, he's too excited. We have our checklist, what it comes with. If something is missing, please let us know. But the engineer always checks everything to make sure he's also, um, he's also not forgetting something, okay? That's why we do that. We do that specifically for that purpose. Because after all, folks, look, we're all human and we may miss something. That's why we have that checklist. Now, let's get to business with the analyzer. Okay, look, we have a color screen, large digits. When the pump is on, air is drawn. I'm gonna zoom in here for a minute. Okay, air is drawn from the top of the barb. Okay, now this is not connected. If you want to connect this little guy, pop your, your tubing, and now it's drawing air from the little needle here. Okay, look, see that? I'm gonna force that, okay? It's, it's drawing air from the needle. You see how that works? Quite straightforward. Okay, let's turn that off. Now, if there's an alarm, the right button puts it on mute. Okay, pretty simple. Now, let's get straight to the other functions. We have the USB charging port right over there. The cable plugs up over there. Let me zoom out a little bit. On the sides over here, we have the LED alarms. Internal is the buzzer and vibration. Very nice, very nice rubberized um, grip over here, folks. It's really ergonomically well designed. It's actually a very nice feel. We have our serial plate at the back with specifications just again in the future in case you put it in a drawer you take it out that will remind you what this gadget is very important 2000 milliamp hour battery lithium ion rechargeable battery at the back and by the way the pump is drawing about 0.5 liters per minute okay now what i've got over here is a calibration gas from gasco um i ordered the 50 percent but as you know Every time you order gas, it's not exactly right on 50.0%. In this case, the certificate of assurance was 50.22. I actually calibrated this some days ago to 50.3. I rounded up a little bit, and we're going to test it live right here, folks, so you could see how it works. Now, when you do do this, you need a T-piece. I'm going to explain why you need a T-piece with a built-in pump. You want not to force air to it. If you do give it excess air, it will take it out from here. That is standard best practices with analyzers with a built-in pump. Now, let me draw some gas, and let me draw, put the pump on, okay, folks? Now, as you could see, it's alarming, and it goes straight to 50.3, folks. Thermal conductive sensor technology is very accurate. The unit itself is very accurate. The components working symbiotically is, is unbelievably accurate. Much better than the specifications. As I said, the specifications, the worst case, extreme temperature, extreme humidity, etc., etc., etc. But Everything depends on how you calibrate. We encourage you to get this calibrated. We have a calibration service. Let's turn that off. Okay. We have a calibration service. We uh, have videos on calibration. Check that video. 
or call us if there's any problems. Okay, folks, that's what people forget. People dwell on the specifications. Well, no, it's how good it was calibrated and how good the unit holds its calibration, which then depends on the sensor technology and the design of the unit, okay, folks? Now, as you saw, that was less than a, uh, one minute. We did a whole demonstration of how it works, response time, recovery time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, let me see, Dr. Cozzi, is there anything else we should tell folks? I think that's basically it. If there's any questions, let us know. Oh, by the way, okay, let's do the last thing. Hold the middle button down, and you'll switch off the analyzer. Okay, just keep holding it down and bang, it's done. Pop everything back in, close the lid, store it, and you're good to go. Okay, folks, that's it. I hope you like it. Be well, be safe. See you soon.